sometimes love makes us want to drink. Hey! Hey! Hey, doing? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rom-com drinking games. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be taking a look at romantic comedy films that make good drinking games. Whether a certain word is uttered repeatedly or a character acts predictably, you've just got to take a swig. And in case you haven't seen any of these films, a spoiler alert is in order. Number 10, Wedding Crashers. You know you make me wanna In this frat pack classic, Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn crash weddings to hook up. But then things get weird when they're invited to the Cleary household. So, when to drink? Well, for starters, take a shot every time a Cleary acts inappropriately. Have another every time the guys make a rule. Rule number six. Do not sit in the corner and sulk. Slam one back any time Will Ferrell mentions meatloaf. Can we get some meatloaf? One for every baba ganoush and every time Bradley Cooper is a dick. Claire, get your f***ing ass in that auto right now! Take two whenever someone takes part in a Cleary family or Maryland tradition. And take three for Dwight Yoakam, just because. You'll be a thousand miles from nowhere in no time. Ah, uh, sweetie, you take the miles. Number nine, Bridget Jones's Diary. So. <laughs> Bridget Jones is notorious for making a mess of things. So one day after a particularly bad New Year's party, she decides to turn her life around. But she realizes it isn't that easy. Since she's extremely accident prone, engages in some pretty bad habits, and has horrible luck with love. But let's get to it. All right, Cleaver, outside. Take a sip whenever Bridget embarrasses herself, drinks, smokes, cusses, is bummed out, or mentions men. Get ready, that all happens a lot. But to keep things interesting, you may take a shot if she mentions her weight, has sex, you see her writing in her diary, or when she takes a shot of her own. Oh god, yes. Number 8, When Harry Met Sally. It is so nice when you can sit with someone and not have to talk. This iconic romance takes place over the course of many years. But you don't have that kind of time. When the eponymous lovers first meet, Harry posits that men and women can't be friends. So for starters, drink every time someone says that. You realize, of course, that we can never be friends. Also drink when you hear the word sex, New York, or when you witness a change in relationship status. An interview segment is shown or a character's on the phone? Drink. And if you think you can handle it, for the famous deli scene, finish that pint or glass and have someone start a waterfall until Sally's done. It isn't easy. I'll have what she's having. Number 7. Say Anything. Give my heart and she gave me a pen. Say Anything stars the dreamy John Cusack in the classic story of a boy who falls in love with a girl who's too good for him. So when to take a swig? If they drink, you drink. If Diane gets any advice from her overbearing dad, drink your way through it. If Lloyd refers to kickboxing as the sport of the future, you better believe you're kicking one back. Or kickboxing, I heard of kickboxing, sport of the future. If Corey sets her broken heart to song and laments her ex-boyfriend Joe, do a shot. Hang out at the gas and sip, time to do more than sip. And if you love the boombox scene as much as we do, chug the rest of your drink anytime you hear Peter Gabriel. Number 6, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Are you breaking up with me? In this rom-com, Jason Siegel's character Peter goes to Hawaii in the hopes of mending a broken heart, only to find his ex is also staying in Hawaii with her new boyfriend. Hello there, you little sex object. Mm, I've lost a shoe. Poor Peter endures some pretty cringy moments, so drink whenever he's naked, cries, plays the piano, or references his vampire musical. It's getting kind of hard to believe things are going to get better. Also, drink when Sarah Marshall's show is on TV, the words Sarah or Marshall are said, or when Kunu tries to give Peter advice. You need to get back on that board is what you need to do. Oh, and go shot for shot whenever Hawaii is shown. Yeah, sorry in advance about that last one. Hawaii is a beautiful place. People come here usually not to follow you. Number five, breakfast at Tiffany's. I'm crazy about Tiffany's. Everyone thinks they remember the film, or at least recall the scene of Audrey Hepburn as Holly Golightly standing in front of a Tiffany window while eating a Danish. But there's so much more to the movie than that scene, which just means more to drink to. Like whenever you hear Tiffany's mentioned, whether they're saying the full movie title or referring to the store. Well, it's still too early to go to Tiffany's. I 
guess the next best thing is a drink. Take a distinguished sip when you hear Moon River. Moon River. When someone says darling. Ooh, darling. If you see Holly's cat or when someone uses the fire escape. Oh, and why not class this game up a bit with mimosas? This is breakfast at Tiffany's after all. Yes, I very much need a drink. Number four, Love Actually. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. This holiday-themed romantic comedy revolves around not just one couple, but at least 10 of them, which means at least 10 times the cliches to drink to. Start off by drinking whenever anyone mentions Christmas, or we hear Billy Mac's awful Christmas is all around song. Christmas is all around me, all around and me. so the feeling grows. Also booze it up whenever Natalie curses. Shit, I can't believe I've just said that. <laughs> Colin mentions sex, Jamie gets a word wrong in Portuguese, Sarah's phone rings, or John and Judy chit-chat while in some fun positions. Last but not least, take a shot for both of Rowan Atkinson's appearances and for every non-farm animal in the nativity scene. Never let it fade away. Number three, the 40-year-old virgin. Uh, what are you, 25? I'm 40. Holy shit, man, you got to get on that. In this comedy with a hint of romance, Steve Carell plays Andy, who's, you guessed it, our eponymous hero. His awkward and nerdy lifestyle is thrown for a loop when his co-workers invite him to one of their poker nights and attempt to get him laid. You're a virgin! I am... <laughs> shut up! How does that happen? If you want to get drunk fast watching this, take a swig whenever Andy does something lame, like ride his bike or watch Survivor with his elderly neighbors. Hey, so, uh, Survivor, tomorrow night, we on? Bonus sips whenever he screams or says something exceedingly nerdy. No, Kelly Clarkson! You can also drink whenever someone says the word sex or virgin, or when Andy misses out on having sex. That can't happen often, right? I gotta pick those up. No, pick them up. No, 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 I have to pick those Let's up right now. Number two, crazy stupid love. How much, how much you really yeah! Oh my god, Cal! Steve Carell trades in being the virgin Andy for the uncool down on his luck Cal. Saddled with a surprise divorce, Cal is forced to get back into the dating game. To drown his sorrows, he spends a lot of time at a bar. So what the hell, drink if he's there. Actually, if anybody's there, take a sip. But don't look like you're sucking on a tiny schwanz. You know what that looks like? It looks like you're sucking on a tiny schwanz. Is that what you want? On the subject of Jacob's sage advice, drink if he offers Cal counsel, slaps him, or if he picks up a girl. And, uh, get ready. Drink whenever someone says divorce, any version of cuckold, or David Lindhagen. David Lindhagen cuckolded me. He made a cuckold out of me. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I bet you 20 bucks I can get her to have breakfast with me again. As you wish. There has to be a more dignified mode of transportation. Number one, 500 Days of Summer. Smith. I love the Smiths. Hello, 500 Shots of Summer. In a nutshell, Tom falls for, then tries to get over a girl named Summer. Anyway, booze. First off, drink when you want to drink, because this movie gets pretty bleak. But we also have some rules. Drink whenever a new day begins or a season is mentioned, even if a season is also a character's name. Drink whenever Summer is wearing something blue or whenever Tom writes a greeting card. Finish your drink during Tom's jam out to Hall & Oates after sleeping with Summer. or sing along like you know you want to, and then finish your drink. Your reflection will probably look like Harrison Ford after that much booze. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.